Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Welcome back. Um, today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This is a new stamp set. It is called Woodland Wonder and you can get this as of the 5th of January in the Spring and Summer catalogue. Um, if you spend £45 or more you'll be eligible to get a free stamp set from Celebration. So I got this one. Um, to make this card, as you can see, it's a long, tall, skinny card, or as I call them, a DL card. They fit in a normal letter envelope. So I've got a card base with some on it of uh, seven and three quarters by eight and a quarter scored at three and seven eighths a piece of mossy meadow at three and five eighths by eight and one eighth and then a piece of white at three and a half by eight and one eighth no eight sorry by eight three and a half by eight and this is three and three quarters by eight and one eighth and that goes on the inside sizes I'm not used to but it's the only way you can do the whole tree is if you make a tall skinny card. There is a way and it's in the catalogue. Once you get it you will see how to do it. But I thought I'd do my own version at the moment. For the sentiment I've used, and I haven't brought it with me. Let me go and get it. A retired stamp set. Label me bold. Had this out earlier and I put it away. And that is just the happy birthday stamp. And I also didn't bring the ink for that. Moss Meadow. Right, I think I'm organised. Right. To get started, we are going to ink up this. So, now, you best to start at the top because you've got to get the tree top on the paper. You can't very well do, because this comes in three stamps and you've got to join them up. You can't very well do the bottom first because you don't know where the top's going to be. You might do it over here and the top's over there and it'll have a wonky tree. So I'm doing the top first. So with my Memento black ink, ink up the stamp. And we're going to stamp this right at the top of the stamp there's a little bird in the tree as well right so there's me tree top now we've got to do the middle bit the trunk Now, to do this, I do it sideways, just so I can meet up this to that bit there, and to keep it straight. So, I think that's it met up. Uh, 
out just a tiny bit but it looks like a knot in the tree and now we have the bottom to put on and that is a lot easier to add So there we have our bottom tree and now we're going to add the rabbit. There's a rabbit that comes out of the side of the tree. Like that. Ooh. There we are. There he is. Now I'm going to give the owl a balloon to hold. Like that. And what else? Oh, the flag that's flying. Right, I'm going to have... Let's do the flagpole. Right, I want that. There. So, the flagpole isn't long enough. If you do it from there to the tree, you'll hit the fox, I believe it is. So, I'm going to have it sticking out a bit. Then I'm going to clean it. Especially the end. Then I'm going to ink it up without inking the end up. And I'm going to extend it onto the tree, like that. And then I'm going to add, add the flag. And if you put the bow of the flag where you've joined up the pole, it just looks like that. Well, I still have to add just some clouds. So, with the clouds, I did them in seaside spray. I've got the cloud stamp here, and I just added four clouds. Doesn't matter if they go in the tree, because once you colour them in. Ink, green or hide the blue. Ah, no. With a strip of white here, I'm going to add the sen to the sentiment. My mossy meadows really or it was. I don't know why this just doesn't seem to be Inking out properly. That's supposed to be a mossy meadow. It's supposed to be a dark green. And I inked it up last night, and that is the way it's come out. I think there's actually something wrong with this ink pad. Anyway, I'll use that one, which is quite good. And there's our sentiment ready to put on once we start colouring and that is what we're going to do now with our stamping blends so 
for the tree leaves I use Granny Apple Green Light, Old Olive Light and Mossy Meadow Light. I can turn it around. Then all I did was pick some leaves and coloured, I think it worked out about 14 in each colour. Try not to do two together. Just counting these. Let me have it on. Four, eight, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Right. Now this is Odd olive, so I only did it like this because I didn't want all the leaves to be the same colour green. this one and now for granny apple green Do that one and that one.
think that's it. Yeah. Leave them out because we've got the grass to do. Right, next is the um, bark on the tree. Right, I've got crumb cake, which I'm going to do half of the tree in light crumb cake. Missing all the animals. I think my crumb cake's running out. Right. Now I've got soft suede light. And I'm just going to do a quarter of the soft suede light. Just roughly, that's all I'm doing. Just colouring it in roughly. Colour that branch in. Then I get the dark and just take it down the rest of the branch. Then I get my crumb cake again and blend it all in. hard when your pen's running out. I do use crumb cake a lot. So I need to get myself another one. I think I've re-inked this about five times. So there's our tree done. That's not blended in as well as it should have done, as well as my first one.
Right. I'm piling all the um, pens up in front of me. Um, let's start with the birds. I did them yellow, didn't I? So we will use dark so saffron and colour in our yellow birds. That one and this one. On my bed in a nest, and we'll take the dark soft, uh, soft suede and just fill in a, a nest. And just cover the holes of the tree where the animals are poking through in dark brown, er, uh, dark soft suede like that. Right then, we're going to have a granite grey light squirrel. We actually had a squirrel outside our back the other day. Don't usually have a, well I've never seen a squirrel here before. Trouble is I can't remember if it was a red squirrel or a grey squirrel. Um, right, we want some pink. For his nose and for the fox's nose and for the rabbit's ears and his nose. We're going to have a white rabbit so we don't need to colour him in. Right, light grey for the owl. some dark grey for his feathers. Right, Cajon craze light. Yeah, for the fox. And a bit of I forgot his ears. Can't remember what a fox's face looks like. It's it brownish. I'll do a bit of crumb cake on his face. my black um, what they called marker pen I am just giving them some eyes they've got them but I'm just highlighting them right I did a blue balloon so saffron balloon. No, not so saffron, that's yellow. Seaside spray. Right, 
Right, and I'm leaving a little white that was little, I didn't just uh, the shine of the balloon. And then we need some grass. Right, to start with, I'm doing mossy meadow. to green sticking up bits it all flat. Oh, the flag. Right, the flag itself is going to be in Seaside Sproses. So it's balmy blue. Oh, it's Paul Barty. And the pole is going to be a dark grey. And that is our colouring then. No, it's not. We have got beaks to colour, pumpkin pie. There we are. All we've got to do is stick this down. I originally ordered this stamp set for my great grandson. He's three tomorrow, but it never came in time because I had to post it to Scotland. So I made him a card with number three on it and posted it in to Scotland. She should have received it today, which is birthday's tomorrow. And I might just send him this 
as an extra card. Tim says I did buy it for him. I have three great grandsons, so they will it will be used for them. The youngest is now oh it's Elijah. Elijah's four months, July, August, September, October, November. Coming up for five months. Oldest granddaughter's got two boys. She's got a uh, Bentley's three and Jordan's eighteen months. And then my middle granddaughter, um, I'm going to put that one there. My middle granddaughter, my second oldest granddaughter, she's got a five month old. The other two are at school still. Right. Sentiment inside, I actually used this one, which I forgot about. It says, Hope your day stacks up to be one good thing on top of another. Not that I'm sure Bentley will understand this, but his mum will. Use some black memento and stamp that in the middle like that. And then we'll put that inside. I haven't met um my youngest great grandson yet, obviously due to quarantine. I have met the other two little boys. The mum that actually brought him down here travelled overnight with two little ones. But she did it. Well, there you are, one nice Woodland Wonder card, two of them actually, I did him a grey fox and that's with the new stamp set Woodland Wonder, hope you like it, if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the icon button, the icon button, the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.